What's up, guys? It's your boy, Paul, and I am back with another What Does the Bible Say About Sex in Five Minutes? So the quick answer is, it's good, it's great, it's awesome in the context of marriage. But let's take a little deeper dive into what scripture actually says about it and what the Bible teaches about sex. So in the beginning, God created everything, all that there is with the breath of his mouth. Man, that's so awesome. And he also did the same with man. You see, except actually he did a little bit more intimate. It says that he created him out of the dust of the ground and then breathed life into him. Now it says that God made man and female in his image. And with that, he gave us a blessing, told us to subdue the world, and then just fill it. He says, go ahead and, and populate the earth. Now that is our first thing that we know we can see about sex, is that sex is for populating the earth. Now, I say it's important that this message is put in there because it tells us the context in which we should have sex. It is between a male and a female, a man and a woman, because how can you populate the earth unless you have sex with man and woman? So, and this is in the context of marriage. Adam and Eve were married when he gave this uh, commission to them to fulfill or to fill the earth. And so that gives us our first idea of what sex is about is to fill the earth now the proper context of this is not homosexuality bestiality adultery or fornication all of those things outside of what we just spoke about is sinful now sex ain't just about <laughs> procreating and making babies sex is also fun great and awesome God made it that way matter of fact in scripture it says oftentimes about speaking about sex is that one knew someone Adam knew Eve so we know this is awesome because it is the most intimate touching thing that people can do with one another you know some people have called it a mingling of souls and I believe they're right on this it's something that just a person, when they're having sex, just it's like you know that person deeper and more than you will ever know another person. Have you ever looked at the book Song of Songs? See, in that book, it just talks about two lovers who have such a great desire, sexual desire, sensual desire for one another, and they cannot wait to get together in marriage and just get down. See, it talks about that passion and that desire. It's so strong. It says that uh, uh, death and the grave is jealous of it, you know? And so when it says this, man, it's actually saying that just like death is coming to everybody, the person, these two people desire together is uh, going to happen. And so that's an awesome thing, man. God glorifies and honors that when we do it in the context of marriage. Man, that is a powerful thing. But it has to be done in the right context. So the last thing. Most people want to ask, well, what can you do? Well, I believe that you can do anything you desire as long as the man and the woman in the relationship both understand that this is okay. We're cool with this. Except for anything extramarital. So when I say extramarital, I mean like pornography or swinging or Anything outside of a, a man and a woman together in the in privacy uh, having sex. Now, if you got any more questions about this or any more uh, things you can put into it, man, go ahead and put that in the comments. I'd love to hear it, man. This is a wonderful thing, and I pray that we'd be able to, you know, honor God in this and realize that he has given this as a gift of the most glorious thing. I hope this video helped you guys on understanding what this is about. I'm Paul, Pauline Theology, and this has been another what does the Bible say in five minutes?